Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be discussing respiratory pump and venous return. Um, in the previous video we mentioned some other factors which are affecting venous return like skeletal muscle pump and we also mentioned sympathetic nerve activity. This video is going to be focused on respiratory pump. So, before we begin I want to direct your attention to the following definition and this is intrapleural pressure. This is the pressure in the thoracic space between the organs. So we have the an image here of the thoracic cavity. You can see lungs, heart, and various vessels here. The intrapleural pressure is going to be the pressure which is in between these vital organs here. Now, something that you need to know is um, the pressure which is inside the right atria of the heart and also in the vena cava, the thoracic region of the vena cava, has a relationship and is dependent with the intrapleural pressure so they're all interrelated the intrapleural pressure would affect the pressure of the right atria and also of the thoracic uh, vena cava so there is a relationship there so when a person inspires or breathes breathes in the chest wall would expand and then what's going to happen is the diaphragm here will move downwards so because of this, the intrapleural pressure is going to become negative because the volume in this region will increase. So therefore, the pressure will become negative or it will decrease. And then therefore, what's going to happen is the lungs, these cardiac chambers here, and the thoracic vessels here will also expand. Okay. Now, when these um, vessels expand and when the right when the cardiac chambers expand it causes uh, the pressure inside them to decrease similar to how the intrapleural pressure decreased previously and what's going to happen is because of this there's going to be a greater like pressure difference in between let's say the vena cava and the right atrium so this difference in pressure is what's going to stimulate the blood to flow into the right atrium okay now another factor which um, affects the venous return well another sort of mechanism obviously when a person inhales or inspires the diaphragm is gonna move downwards so what's gonna happen is it's gonna press sort of on the abdo abdominal organs you can't see it here in this image but it's gonna move downwards and what's gonna happen is it's gonna increase the pressure in the abdominal region here. So obviously there'll be a difference in pressure in the um, this region of the vena cava and this region of the vena cava here. So what's going to happen is this pressure difference between the abdominal region and the thoracic region is going to help to stimulate and drive blood from this region of the vena cava, the inferior vena cava, to the superior region here. So this is everything I wanted to discuss in the video relating to uh, respiratory action and venous return. If you have any questions regarding this, then write a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. 